Hey everyone, this is Alejandra. I worked with her on my 10 week coaching program, which I think is really fun, but I wanted to just have a conversation with her about her experiences. And uh, yeah, so Alejandra, if you could just start with like, how'd you hear about me? What made you decide to reach out? And uh, yeah, what have, what have your experiences been and what were your reservations, if any, going into it? Um, I learned first about your program through the Live Richer Academy um, with the Budgetista. Um, so it was the, the Ask the Expert. I watched um, that video and I became really interested in, um, in just in your work. And, um, and being that I live in California, <laughs> um, it's so expensive here. It feels that owning any kind of real estate feels like it's never going to happen. It just feels like it's too far out of reach. So when I saw your video, it felt like I, there was something attainable for me. Um, and so, so I became really interested in that. I purchased your book on Amazon. Um, and I uh, like it. I had I this guy it. in my Facebook group. His name's Corey. He, he was dogging the heck out of my book. Will you tell the public about my book? He was just yeah, mad I, that I like, I charge for my, my fees and no, some people are like, no, how, how dare you charge for your time? Your value to me is nothing. How dare you? No. So he ranted about it. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's, you absolutely have to charge for the knowledge and everything that you have acquired over time. And um, it's worth every penny. So I, every, everything that I paid. It's like $5 um, I, on Kindle. Like, dude, you just cheat. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I was like, I, you know, worth every penny. Um, so I, yeah, I, I bought it. I read it cover to cover. Um, my husband who is in real estate in California part-time had never even heard of anything like this and was like, like just really, you know, puzzled by it and stuff. And um, as he's learned more and more through me, uh, because again, he's not putting in the work, I'm putting in the work. Um, he's, he's just really impressed by everything, by all of your work um, and all of the system that you've created, all of your classes. Um, so uh, we both are. Um, it's um, all of the knowledge. I feel it's, it's really straightforward. Um, you know, we're, we're both teachers by training. <laughs> um, and so when we feel like we get information that is very clear that the you know the it's presented and delivered in a way that's very clear um to you know and, and easy for for someone to comprehend and, and learn from it um like you know you're doing an awesome job as a teacher and as a mentor so um so i i just feel like all of the work that you've put together all of your videos they're all really well done they're very clear um and i again i, I think it's worth every penny um and i um i've been telling family members and such about it um and friends we've been we've actually been telling a lot of our friends so that that way um you know when because they're now they're really curious and right. so and, you led the and, way you led the way right. <laughs> exactly so that happens at first they they looked at us you know really they really doubted um and were like no there's no and then as and you know especially after that first trip out um to to look at properties it was like oh you you're all are for real doing this and then um and everybody's waiting to see how it goes like they're waiting for us to um to finally have yeah. that property purchased and yeah. for it to, to start working out and they um, want it to, and they want you to win unless they're oh, weird. Yeah. most people are like they want to see this win because when you do it then they will truly feel they can do it so sometimes yes. they need you to win right so and what win. right and what i've told them is you know once once we've reached our goal um and you know and that in I, I say that like, um, you know, first it's one, but like we definitely have a goal of more and more, um, acquiring more. Uh, I remember one of your videos, you said, like, I want to own like 20 houses. And I'm like, me too. <laughs> and so um, it's, um, and, you know, and with your system, it feels doable. Like, I feel like, yes, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's, it feels like if you're, determined and focused and you do your homework um again i'm a teacher <laughs> um then it's like yes you can do this um and so with all my friends and family that have asked about it that's one of the things i tell them like if you want to do this great work with a mentor work with lisa because um i said i'm you know i'm still a student i'm i by no ways in no ways feel like i'm 
an expert or like I could coach anyone else. Cause I feel like sometimes when people think like, oh, one person has done it, like then they can just show you all like the tips and tricks and everything. And I'm like, I'm takes not, a little time. Takes a little right, time. I'm like, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I feel like I could coach anyone else, mentor anyone else. So I'm like, no, yeah. you've got to go to the mentor. Yeah. Um, so I would, if anyone's even thinking about it, I would definitely tell them to sign up with you and sign up with this program. Um, but I would tell them to like watch, make sure that they're watching all the videos and stuff first like get so that's what like I mean I had some knowledge because I had read the book um and so I think if they start right away with the 10 a week coaching program without like any knowledge without doing any like research at all um it's gonna feel too overwhelming um so yeah, that's why I try to break it up um so you mm -hmm. came in and you had the book but um I definitely right. go I want you to only watch this like right. this training that's it Mm -hmm. and then nothing else okay and then once we're done with that I will lead you to the next but we have to get the fundamentals so that's sort of what I do to break it down for yes the people yes and I, and I really appreciate that because yeah mm -hmm. you told me to start with the out-of-state this one yeah do. and then we have and to look at the skill set first this right. is a different skill set finding a property finding a market right. is completely different exactly and even though I had read the book I still did all of the um, mm -hmm. chapters and modules of the sub K 30 system. Mm -hmm. And it was really great to do that because it, it was a refresher of everything that I had read. There was, there's some additional information in there. Um, you get to, for those that need to like visually see something um, like, you know, in some of like where you're inspecting a property, then it's, you know, you can see that in the videos. Um, so you get, you get more, it really is, um, it, it adds so much more to to uh, the book and you know it's, it's such a good supplement to it so i definitely think even if people have read the book they should absolutely still do mm -hmm. the um 30k course um on yeah online. and my book isn't as deep i mean my book isn't the level of detail i mean like right. well, you see how much videos i have yes. like i can't yes. put that in yes. a book like <laughs> right right <laughs> it'd be a really big book and you wouldn't finish it like i wouldn't right. you know what i mean right. so <laughs> yes. definitely that's just like an overview that there is a system like the book is to show you there's a clear system right but there are details in it and that's what the coaching and the training goes into much more deeper because you have the time to digest all of those deeper details that it would overwhelm you if i just threw it at you you know I, that, yes. right like if i just yes. threw it at you like in a book like it's too much because there's right. nuance right and what i teach right. people is nuance not yeah, I have a system, but it's a nuanced system. It can change depending on the nuance of the situation and it adapts to it. And that is what can be a lot because, okay, on this market, you might go this way or this way or this way. Well, it depends how much money you have, where you're located, you know? And so that level of nuance, it's just, you can't put that in a book because that's right. more just an, it's easier to talk with someone or, or demonstrate that, in a, you know, in a video, what yes. path to take. And I think that's yeah. what gets people the nuance. Right. No, yeah, I agree. And I love also the weekly reminders in addition. <laughs> like th those are awesome for me. You know, I, I need reminders. I live by my planners and reminders and digital planners and all yeah, that. Yeah, stuff. you're like, oh, and let me so, get this done before. <laughs> right, right. And I love that it will tell you, you know, oh, that you've got this percentage done and everything. Cause for me, I'm just one of people like, oh yeah. And so then I like, it motivates me to 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 do more <laughs> and to look at more uh, and there's just there's just a ton of inform a lot of a ton of great information on on your on all the different courses that you have so i it's just awesome um and so yes yeah, so i would recommend this to to everyone i'm like yes you should oh, good do i can't wait to, i can't wait to to meet your friends you get a, a you get a beautiful referral fee too if you do um, yes so no and, worries about um, that this and as I a know thank that, you, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And so um, yeah, well, I'm happy to recommend it, even if I didn't get a referral for I, that, yeah, because it was <laughs> I, I just think that this is this is a really amazing program. And um, and so and then also for um those that are thinking about you know doing the group call versus uh individual, I I definitely think uh once they're ready to do the 10 week program the group call is the way to go i uh, i remember you mentioning to me that you you learn like five times more with the group call and it's so true like um i learned so much from the people that were in our group um, i i didn't know what luxury vinyl tile was before this or lvt <laughs> um, as i hear it called uh, the it's our favorite the sub 30k group yeah it's right <laughs> and so yeah and so i like i and then uh yeah just um it's it, it's really um, sparked an interest in me to learn more about 
you know, doing some things myself, even if it's just, you know, for repairs around my own house, um, because I, I definitely like, I look at some stuff and I'm like, yeah, I would never be able to take on that whole project. Um, I, I agree with you about hiring general contractors, but at least it makes me feel like I'm, I'm learning new stuff, even, you know, mm -hmm. at, at, at later, later, you know, age in life. Um, and it's, it's great. Like I, you know, it's, it's empowering to feel like you can, you know, fix something on your own at home and so yes. that was also part of like yes. the group like the, like being like hearing that from the group it gave me confidence to try it and then once I tried it I was like oh I can do this <laughs> like you know and so then 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 I gained more confidence from being able to do it you know and so right. if it's yeah if it was just preparing a cabinet or something cabinet door at home it's just like oh I can do it <laughs> like right you know? And sometimes and so, you're not around that growing up. Like, I think on the West Coast, we're, we don't do it like that. We really don't. It's not until I got into Ohio and every single one of my coworkers who worked at the Air Force Base knew how to make a cement sink, knew how to build a cabin, knew how to fix a like everyone. And then I realized like for some of us, some people are surrounded by DIY and that knowledge right. and that know-how and they grew up helping their dad or their brothers or sisters right but right. on the west coast where i grew up we hired people to do that right. and we didn't grow up with that at all we grew up with new construction you know that someone right. that you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like being in that environment it does like it knocks some like it, it's like knocks something into your head and it makes you realize you can once you're around the environment of people just talking about it and you know luxury <laughs> vinyl tile is just like for um for people like us who do rentals, that's like your bread and butter because you can get it installed for super cheap. It's good quality. It looks amazing. It's yes. just like, but it's half the price of laminate and and the install of um, um, an easier install and then, you know, cheaper than hardwood. So that's sort of like our thing, but learning stuff like that just saves you money because you mm -hmm. have to be in the industry to learn about the different industry things that we do to save money, right? And right, then, right. So what was something that was really um you're like oh wow I didn't what I didn't know that like what was something you learned through this to me like one thing that like hit you because there's usually one thing that you're like oh my I, oh my god did you know that like I, I feel like no one knew this but like we all should was there something that like like that that happened where you had a moment where you're just really surprised you found something out that really threw you for a loop uh, I mean several again the, the do-it-yourself stuff and I was like yeah. okay like like we could all we could all do this <laughs> like and then um but then also just finding um or hearing hearing about different markets from people and, and then really feeling like no this market really does exist because I feel like people don't think it exists yeah they anymore. don't so, I'm like I, I tell them yeah. uh, every day <laughs> and so and then here like because I think everyone in our group call that at least that I was in was focusing on a different market yep. and it was like eight different markets. markets yeah exactly and so it was like we were all over the country mm -hmm. um and that for me it was like oh wow it's mm -hmm. it, it it mm -hmm. really is everywhere and it made me like feel like um you know there's just there's 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 so much to explore and I, I thought about like yeah. I I considered place I never would have considered going before or um or you know considering for for purchasing and um and just hearing about how awesome they are and that was just really like eye-opening you know it's like I feel like I've traveled a lot of the west coast but I haven't really like gone past the like Nevada Montana right. and all that stuff and so and it's like and finally I did and I've like I've fallen in love with all these different states in the yeah. Midwest and it's yeah. just awesome me so, too actually uh, I, I mean I you know being from the west coast we are sort of landlocked because we honestly we have everything over there and it's a great like it's a, the west coast is expensive but it's amazing right it's like a right. great place so there's a reason right. we don't leave you don't leave great places you know what I mean right. you go to stay and hang right. out um, right. but, but I must say there is so much, um, just cute charm and interesting yes. aspects and me, I analyze it. I have like this viewpoint where I analyze like the geography, the landmarks and the people, the population, all that goes into my market analysis. So I look at it from that standpoint. And, right. um, so to see how the ebb and flow of people and industry and money goes, yes. but it's yes. really cool to see how it changes. And, right. and that's literally when I do the market analysis with people 
it's me explaining the diet, the, 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 what is it? The layout of the land. This is the lay of the land. This right. is how in this particular population center, because it's like this and this geography and geographical region, it's right. affected economically. Like you see these layers economically like this, which has this effect on the housing market, which will yield you sub 30 K results. You know, it's like this layered analysis, but to me, I find it fascinating um, yeah. over the years. I think I'm naturally inclined to see this mm -hmm. sort of instinctively, intuitively, but then right. the numbers bear out what my instincts were saying. But right. it's like this interesting little dance of like people right. and industry and jobs moving wherever they go. And that right. explains why rents are this and why they have houses that cost this much. And so right. that's been really fun learning over the last year. Yes. So yeah, but it's a great thing to be on a call with like eight different markets and eight different houses in this price range right. and seeing like the differences. Oh, these are 35K. These are 45. Oh, these are like 70 though. Right. If they choose right. to stay in this market, but you also get to see it's your choice. Right. Right. You know these calls, my clients generally tend to find markets no one else knows about. And that's how I tell them. I tell them to keep their mouth shut. Don't go to my Facebook and tell everybody unless you want everyone to buy them. Okay. Right. Um, but uh, what's cool is that you get to see eight different markets, eight different types of houses. And you see how, and that knowledge of like, okay, in this city, it costs 85 to get what I can get for 45 here. You start to understand why the market differences. When I ask them right. questions about this market, they start spouting this off versus this. You're like, oh, I think all of a sudden my client, like the people who go through it understand they start understand fundamentally how these markets differ. Do you feel right. that you got that? Like how yeah. yes. that interplay goes? And that is very, very important as an investor to be able to right. understand the market flow. Right, exactly. Yeah, so that would that definitely. And uh, so that, that was surprising. And then also just how much fun I had doing all of this. Like, Wasn't that it cool? worked, it, <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah, like I, you know, and so, sometimes, you know, like, I don't know, I think about my, my high school students, I'll get really distracted on their phone and stuff. Like, that's how I was becoming like, because I was like, let me look at one more thing. Let me do one more like CPR, you know, analysis and stuff. And, you know, uh, looking at spreadsheets and everything. And But just to and, see uh, what you can get, because it's always yeah. like, one thing you're like, yo, look at this cash flow. Right, right, exactly. So it's I a game a though where that. money is yeah. the winner. Like if you win real money. Right. That's why exactly. you win real money. Yes, exactly. You get this right. Monthly right. income. Right, exactly. So I, I've I've really enjoyed doing this also. <laughs> Which is good because you don't want it to be work, but I do find right. that like the people who go through it, once you start what I like to say, I'm just gonna show you the rules of the game. No one wants to tell right. you. Right. Once you understand the rules, all of a sudden the game is a lot more fun. Right. Exactly. Did you say that? You know, no, 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 the game's sort of fun. Other people complain, right. like, it ain't that bad. Right. <laughs> but you know the rules now, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why you're like, it's not that bad. <laughs> right, exactly. So um, so yeah, that was great. Thank you for your feedback. I appreciate it. Um, so Alejandra's almost there. We're getting closer. We're probably gonna do a few more just one-on-one -on -one calls after the 10 week program because she's she's gonna go out again and look at some more properties. But um you, you're pretty you're feeling confident that you're getting closer and closer, yes. like to oh, yes. heart, you know. Yes, absolutely. Good. Yes. Good. And, and that's how it is. Um, I always tell people I went to some markets and bought nothing because it didn't turn out the way my analysis did. It didn't stop me. It was just like, oh, on to the next market. And then eventually you right. do get it. But it's a process and you just have to be yes. able to work with it and just stay focused until you get exactly what you want, you know, which for us, it's cash flowing, low cost rental properties. That's it. Right. Keep your focus. Right. Keep it sexy. I'm not trying to do all this. <laughs> Y'all are happy with $200 a month. Alejandra, we're trying to hit 800 to 1500 a month. That's, that's our metrics. And that is very doable. So yes. thank you so much for coming on and sharing. I appreciate it. Of course. For anyone else out there, I'll have some information on the back. You can just give me a call. Don't be scared. I'm a normal person. You want to talk about your real estate? I'm a normal person, right, Alejandra? Yes, you're you're the best. <laughs> you're the best. Well, I I love talking to you. <laughs> some people, because I have a book, I don't know. Some people are like, "Oh, you're talking to me on the phone." I was like, "Oh, am I that big yet? Am I not supposed to be talking to you?" Because I don't I don't feel. Uh... I, I was a little bit like that. I was a little starstruck <laughs> when uh, when you first called me. I was like, "Oh, it's really her." <laughs> like, 
yeah yeah i've heard that before and like to this day i'm just like nah don't be scared like i i am a normal person yes uh birthday was just yesterday oh happy birthday yes i don't know if i want to tell you guys my age i, I don't want to tell my age either and you're you're so much fun to talk to also like that we've talked about the van life stuff and everything oh, yeah. so it's it like all those group calls were always so much fun like I they were too. I enjoy them too. You're and learning so much and it's you're with like-minded people and just you know it, it ends up it doesn't feel like work it feels fun. And so, you know it's, it's all the personalities of everyone. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their own thing and their own personality and their own vision and they bring it. You know yeah. like they're like this is what I want to do, right? And da 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 and they're so convicted. And right. it's just sort of it like even for me it's very interesting listening to where their passions lie and where right. they're going and how committed they are to it. You know, right. like it's really, it's just a beautiful thing to interact with for me too. And I always say the reason I'm relevant is because I attract great people and you guys show me something new, but then for my next group, I can show them something new and then they show me something new. And then for my next group, I can show them something new. And that's right. why I'm so relevant because of the people who come and just being right. able to listen to them as much as they listen to me. Right. You're going to learn something from everybody. So when you're in a new city and state, you're like, Lisa, you know what I noticed? Da -da 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 about all the houses right? in this right. market. You know what I mean? But I listened to that. And that's why we're going to stay relevant because I now know, okay, we also are seeing this trend in this market as well. Because, right. you know, two or three clients told me over the last three months about it. And it keeps coming right. up on different calls, right? So yeah, right. That, that feeling you get, I have to say I share it. And yes, I will admit, sometimes I have to pause the recordings so I can say some truths that are not politically correct. So you're going to get some of that. Yeah. Y'all are about to hang me, though, so I'm going to pause it. <laughs> there will be no recording of me saying what I'm about to say, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it to you. If you want to be very straight and very clear right. about what we're doing, usually when it comes to... <laughs> right. But usually nothing bad. I just lay down some truth right. that you're not supposed to say, but like you need to know if you want to make the best decision. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. We need that sometimes. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And um, I'm really happy. I will send you all the information so we can continue. But um, I hope everyone enjoyed this. And anything else you want to say to uh, people sitting there, uh, little, you know, people like um, your friends who are just sort of watching from watching you, hoping you win waiting for you to win so they feel comfortable that they can but what would be like yeah. what you say that i've spent so much of my life living in comfort and not taking risks because i want to stay in what feels safe and comfortable and sometimes you just have to take that leap and i i this was one of those um situations where i did and i'm so glad that i did um i've learned so much and i i just feel like i I'm becoming a new person because yeah. I have gained so much confidence um, through this um, through this program that is you know is is trickling into other aspects of my life where I yeah. just feel you know I have I have the confidence to to do things and I'm I'm not sitting there being afraid and just like what feels yeah. sick anymore yeah oh, oh my gosh you just can I tell you something. Yeah. You just, I was going to end this, but I just got to say this because what you said is something I noticed when you're a real estate investor in this country, it comes with respect, right? Right. Oh, this guy's a real estate investor. Your eyes right. perk up. You don't know if he's big or small, but everyone's like, oh, he might be someone I need to know. Right. Right. But now that you're going through the process, you see why. Right. When you get to this site, you have such insight and knowledge and willingness to take risks and put your money in the ways that most people can only dream of right that there's a reason we're regarded with respect you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know so and i tell everyone you know i was an electrical engineer i worked for the big four firms as a consultant you know and i got way more respect as an investment property owner and then if you're a good one meaning you're making money that respect goes to the roof there are people who like i was in the uh so i lived in charlottesville virginia it is the most classist and raise this place and I hate it, <laughs> hated it. Yeah. And I swear they would not talk to me, but when, only if they found out I was a real estate investor. Then literally from nothing to, do you wanna, can I take you out for lunch or do you wanna come over for dinner? I'm like, dang, that, that's the key here, huh? <laughs> that's, that's the key. So when you say like, 
that confidence goes into another part of your life, that's sort of like you're sort of taking on that mantle. And like I said, when you get your first and it makes money and if you did what everyone thought was just a dream and you accomplish right. it, yeah. And then you aren't so scared to take risks right. in other aspects or start a new business. That's why real estate right. investors don't just do real estate. They're so much more comfortable to start a franchise or to do a multifamily, like a big 20 complex or unit. Right. Once you get that confidence and understanding and how to take it piece by piece, there is a reason we go and do more, but there's also a reason I will say we are regarded uh, pretty well. And, you know, growing up in America, being a black female, you know, sometimes there's some doors that really only open to me as a real estate investor. Right. Yeah. I'm telling you out of all the things. And then I go back to the constitution. It's like land and being a landowner. Then you go back to old England. It was the right. landowners who got the respect period. Right. right? Exactly. And you start to realize like within this system, being a real estate investor or a landowner or property owner, that has always been the key. And if you, even if you do it in a low cost area, it's still the key to respect and prestige. Absolutely. And you are a different person. And you did put yourself in one of the oldest industries, but also the industries that has the most people who are wealthy and the most millionaires, right? So you right. are a part of a, I'm just going to say it. I mean, just an elite circle, right? And so um, you saying that, I'm like, yeah, I got to tell you, you know, so um, I've been telling y'all way too much of my life. You know, I'm dating now, right? Yeah. I'll tell them everything like about what I do, but depending on how it's going and like the direct question, you know, as soon as I put like, oh, you know, I teach people how to invest in rental properties. I mean, they love me after that. Like <laughs> I get, I get yeah. second and third dates yeah. and they don't want to let me go, but like, right. it's not like I'm some huge landowner, but it's very interesting how it makes you such much of a valuable companion right. to everyone right, in all aspects, right? Exactly. I just exactly. want to put that out there. I know that sounds a little weird, but I actually use it as one of my hook, line, and sinker to reel them in. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I use it strategically. Like, she's a boss. Like everything. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't put it out there too much. They don't know how much money I'm making, but whatever. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. You. Um, that's awesome that you're like your awareness and expansion of who you are because you've done this and because you're actually doing it. And, you kind of, and you're getting so close and it's been so much more successful for you. That is amazing to hear the growth, right? And that you're like a different person. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And, and that's why I'm still continuing. And I, you know, I, yeah, I, I want to be part of this group for as long as I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good. Thank you so much for coming to chat with us and telling us about your story. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, bye. Bye.